Hello Cloggers and welcome to AWS This Week. And there are some really cool announcements this week, including open monitoring with Prometheus for Amazon MSK. You can now attach multiple elastic inference accelerators to a single EC2 instance. CloudFront access logs now provides seven new data fields. SQS now supports one minute CloudWatch metrics. And we announce our guru of the week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. You can now monitor your Amazon MSK or managed streaming for Apache Kafka clusters using Prometheus. And if you haven't used MSK before, it's a fully managed Apache Kafka service that makes it really easy to build and run applications that process streaming data. And Prometheus is an open source monitoring system for time series metrics, which is really widely used being open source. And it also integrates with other metrics gathering solutions like Datadog and Sumo Logic. And monitoring with Prometheus is offered at no additional cost. You can now attach multiple elastic inference accelerators to a single EC2 instance. And if you haven't used Elastic Inference before, it's a resource that you can attach to your EC2 instances to accelerate your deep learning inference workloads. And this is a really cost-effective method to build intelligent capabilities into applications running on EC2 instances. So by attaching multiple accelerators to a single instance, you can avoid deploying multiple auto-scaling groups and significantly lower your operating costs. CloudFront Access Logs now provides seven new data fields. And of course, the Access Logs provide detailed information about every user request received by CloudFront. And the seven new data fields improve visibility by enabling you to identify things like specific error types, the port number a request came from, values held in various HTTP headers, as well as response time. SQS now publishes one minute metrics to CloudWatch. And if you haven't used SQS before, it's a managed message queuing service that enables applications to send, store, and receive messages between software components. And SQS used to only publish metrics every five minutes, but by sending metrics every minute, you can benefit from more granular monitoring with continuous visibility into the operation of your queues, allowing you to quickly respond to any changes in your workloads. So on to Guru of the Week, and the correct answer this week was C. And the person with the best answer is Katarzyna Kalek, who is a data engineer at OLX Group in Poland. So congratulations to Katarzyna. There's a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand sign card on the way to you in the post. And you are also in the draw to win the free ticket to reInvent 2020. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live in our forum. And that's all from me. You've been watching AWS this week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time.